All right, in this example, I'm going to multiply a polynomial in two variables. Notice we have both x and y, so certainly that'll make the bookkeeping, I think, a little more tedious, but, um, you know, again, it's nothing hopefully too terrible. The first thing I'm going to do, so we've got all this squared. Again, one of the classic mistakes would be to simply square each term and be done with it. And if only it were that easy. Um, so that would be incorrect to do. So what we have to do, I always write it down. So if it's squared, it means it's multiplied by itself twice. And now what I'm going to do is just take the first term time, times everything in the second set of parentheses. I'll take the, uh, the middle term times everything in the second set of parentheses. And likewise, the third term times everything in the second set of parentheses. So I'm going to move over here to the left a little bit. Hopefully I can squeeze it all in here. It might be a long problem. So 4x squared times 4x squared. I think 4 and 4 is 16. x squared and x squared is x to the fourth. Then I move to my next one. I think positive 4 times negative 1 would be negative 4. x squared times x would be x to the third. And then I just stick the y on there. And then I think 4x squared po times positive 2y squared. 4 times positive 2 is simply positive 8. And x squared times y squared we'll just write as x squared y squared. In the middle we have negative x times 4x squared which would give us negative 4. Um, the x to the first and x squared will multiply to be x to the third. And then again we just stick our y on there. I've got negative xy times negative xy, so two negatives will make a positive. x to the first and x to the first will be x to the second. y to the first and y to the first will be y to the second. And then we have negative xy times positive 2y squared. That'll be negative 2. We've got an x to the first. And y times y squared will be y cubed. Okay, so now we have to multiply the 2y squared by everything. Um, so 2 times 4 is going to be positive 8. Then we have y squared times x squared. I always like to write things alphabetically just so I can recognize like terms a little bit easier. So I'm going to write the x squared first and then the y squared. <clears throat> I have positive 2 times negative 1. That's going to give us um, a negative 2 random 4 up there. That'll give us a, okay, so we had negative 2y squared, excuse me, positive 2y squared times negative xy, so positive 2 and negative 1 will give us the negative 2. The x will stick on there, and then we have y squared times y to the first, which is going to be a y to the third power. And let's see, we have a positive 2y squared and a positive 2y squared. That's going to give us a positive 4 y squared and y squared will become y to the fourth. So now it's just a matter of collecting all of our like terms here. So let me come back over here for just a second. So it got a little bit long. So there was a 16x to the fourth. That was the first term. I don't see any other just x to the fourth terms. So I'm going to drop that one right down. So that'll take care of the first term. Then we have a negative 4x to the third, y to the first. It looks like we have another 4x to the third, y to the first. So that'll give us negative 8x to the third, y to the first. So those are like terms. And then let's see, it looks like we have some x squared, y squared, and I have another x squared, y squared over here. It looks like we've got 8 and 8 of them. So that'll give us positive 16x squared, y squared. Um, oh, it looks like, hey, we've actually got another positive 1x squared, y squared in there that I overlooked. So this is, this is why I like to cross them out in case I miss them. So if we add that extra 1 instead of a 16, we should actually have 17x squared, y squared. So let me cancel that one out as well. Um, we've got a negative 2xy to the third and another negative 2xy to the third. That'll give us negative 4xy to the third. Again, we're just recognizing like terms and then doing arithmetic out front. And last but not least, it looks like we have a positive 4y to the fourth. So I think we have now multiplied out this polynomial in two variables. We have combined all of our like terms. 
and that would now be considered multiplied out and simplified. So, all right, um, again, very tedious. It's easy to make a mistake with the exponents or just with the signs or just uh, really just anywhere. It's just tons of computations. But um, again, hopefully the process makes sense. So again, after that, just try to be careful with your, with your multiplication and with your exponents.